What is up guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mike and this is my kitchen. Today we're going to be preparing a delicious bacon brie and cranberry sauce sandwich. We're going to start off by slicing the brie into thin slices and then heading on over to some mozzarella. We're going to grate approximately one cup of mozzarella which we'll be using later to top off the sandwich. After this mozzarella grating we'll be using a cast iron pan, get it nice and hot. I'm using some garlic flavored avocado oil, just add some extra flavor to the bread. I'm gonna go ahead, chop up one onion. It should be enough to make about three sandwich. We're actually gonna caramelize this onion, so we're gonna dice it up nice and fine, not too fine, just, to not, just big enough to move around with a, a spatula or something. We're going to go ahead, place these onions into the pan, get them nice and brown. We don't want to have the cast iron too hot and we're going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar. It'll make it nice, sweet and sticky for the perfect caramelized onions. Moving on to the meat part of the sandwich, we're going to be using thick bacon rashers or pork rashers, which if you'd like to call it, it's basically the same thing. We're going to get them nice and colorful on each side. You're going to have to keep them on a side at least two and a half minutes just so they're nice and brown. We don't want the meat to release too much moisture when it goes on the sandwich. It'll actually make the sandwich break apart due to all the water inside. Just going to go ahead, add some black pepper and then give them a flip. Now moving on to caramelizing the bacon, we're actually going to be using some delicious maple syrup, cover it nicely in maple syrup so when we turn around we'll do some more and then we're using some Moroccan rub just to add some spicy flavor to the meat. You could use a generous amount of this, giving them their last turn before we're going to take them out of the pan. Okay, now the rashers are all cooked, we're going to cut them in half, we're going to use about three pieces per sandwich. I'll be showing you how to make one of them. Getting some buttered bread, place the bread face down butter side onto the pan. I'm going to start with the caramelized onions, place the caramelized onions on top, spread them out nicely. Just make sure to drain enough of the oil off so it doesn't make the bread um, too moist. We're going to start adding the bacon rashers three pieces per sandwich. We're going to start topping it off with a delicious brie cheese. Of this you can add as much as you like um, depending on how cheesy you want your sandwich. I'm using about four to five slices per sandwich and then topping it off with some mozzarella. The mozzarella will glue everything together, the top part of the sandwich and everything will give a nice smooth creamy taste to the sandwich. I'm just going to go ahead, place the other side of the bread on top, butter side up and then dropping in some butter just to make sure the bread gets nice and toasty. And there we go, that's our complete sandwich. From here on out you can just go and add, it and add some cranberry sauce and you'll get that delicious looking sandwich over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, drop a like, comment and subscribe.